Welcome to Reality Mike's, the show that delves deep into the world of reality TV and takes all the hard hitting and emotional parts, totally ignores them, and shows you all the funny stuff instead. Yay! And there's a lot to cover, let me tell you. So let's bring out the teams. Yay! It's team captain Emma Willis from Radio One, Matt Edmondson, and Posh Chelsea Totty James Lang. And facing Team Willis tonight is team captain Joel Dummett. Spicing up the panel, it's Emma Bunton and box host Merlin Kirk. Oh, yeah. How are we all? We all good? We all feeling good? Good stuff. Um, so, Matt, over to you first of all. You're a big reality TV fan. Yes. How much do you love it? Oh, I love it a lot. Big fan of Willis at the moment, because of <laughs> just because of that. How long are you going to keep do this you know up what you've for? Done? You've picked one of my co-presenters and my favourite Spice Girls <gasps> to all the opposite team. I'm rubbing two of my favourite boys off the telly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rubbing my favourite Spice Girl and my favourite tall gay man. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, how are you? I'm good. Good to see this is the first time we've ever met. I think it is. Yeah, it is. No, it, no, it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your favourite reality show of all time? Um, I'm going to have to say Made in Chelsea, aren't I? I I'm going to have to. <laughs> Big Brother. <laughs> have you caught up with any of, the, uh, any of the jump? I did, my boy Joey. Yeah. So Joey did well. Um, and Louise was on it. I think, but she's so little, that's like flying... It's like a little flying squirrel, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit. Jamie, here's a question for you, and I really want the answer to it. How rich are you? <laughs> what? How, how rich are you? I don't... I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. Roughly. What have you got on your wrist? What, what, what is that? Oh, he's got a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> how much money? It's a gold Rolex, that is, and I don't think it's fake, cos I've got a fake one and it... <laughs> 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 also, by the way, very quickly, Riley, congratulations on becoming the official host of Box. Yeah. Now... yeah. <laughs> Emma, Emma's handed over the reins full time. Yeah. How is that? I'm nervous. Like we did, um, I did my first sort of full week this this last week gone, and um, it's fucking knackering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now Emma Bunter. Yeah. Yeah. I cried when the Spice Girls broke up. Did you? I genuinely cried. <laughs> yeah. How dare Jerry break it all up? I know. It was oh, so annoying. She ruined it for you all. Yeah, she, she did. Ruined, she ruined it. it. When I was a boy about the seven, I had a bunk bed, and you were the poster. <gasps> oh, did you yeah, really? yeah. And did you ever have nice times with Emma? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Leave them all. Matt, we've got a bit of Bunton, don't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The sad thing is, you have used that poster to dye the fucking outfits. <laughs> when they were first talking about Reality Bites, we told you about it, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, and you love the idea. Love it, love it, love it. I, uh, I'm Reality Man, I watch everything. If you were to be asked to go on one, which one would you say yes to and which one would you say no way? Do you know what? I don't think I could do any of them because I, then I'd miss them, watching them. You'd be good at Strictly M. I've done Strictly. Have you? Yes. <laughs> when was that? <laughs> we had a Hang on a second, when was that? It was nearly eight years ago, and I came third. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. very memorable. <laughs> well, I was pregnant. I got, I got pregnant at the end of the show, not by... <laughs> <laughs> How are you at the dancing now? Well, I can't I remember bits. Yeah, do you what bits? I remember a little bit of the tango. Really? Can we see a tiny bit? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but you have to do it with me. I'll do it with you. Okay. Damn right. Oh, God, I hope I remember now. What, 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 what? Everything is very physical. Yeah. So you have to literally have to bring your bottom right into me, OK? Right, <laughs> right go on. OK, yeah. and then, no, I need this yeah. hand. You need okay. that hand. Okay. And then we have to walk forward. Right. OK, go, step, step, step. <laughs> And then what? And then I am going to fall back this way. Ready? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> what a treat. Nicely done. Nicely done. <sighs> I think there's a strong chance you might have just got pregnant again. 
I do have that magic touch. <laughs> now, right, let's get started. We begin with a round called Fly on the Wall. I'm going to bring out our wall of reality TV. And on that wall will be some categories leading to questions about reality TV. So let's meet this week's Fly on the Wall. From the big reunion, it's Ad from Fly! <laughs> Everything's good. I'm living in the woods at the moment. <laughs> what do you mean you're living just, in the woods? I just decided to get out of the city and move to the wilderness, so I'm growing this to blend in with all the furry creatures that I'm encountering. <laughs> and just hanging out as a fly, basically. <laughs> Eating poo. Now, on the big reunion, it wasn't that much of a reunion. Only four of you actually uh, got together again. It's down to three now. Is it? Yeah. Who's left now? Me. <laughs> <laughs> so, are they going to call themselves three? Uh, no, I think there's still five, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favourite member? Uh, Jay, he's not in the band either. <laughs> OK, Emma, Jamie and Matt, you are up first. Please pick a category from the wall. Would you like reality slappers, beat the fly, Kim Kardashian bum or Joel's mum? <laughs> Whoa, wait a second. Why is my mum a category? <laughs> I hope it ain't anything to do with the one above. <laughs> this probably won't be the last time I say this, but I fancy a go on Joel's mum, if that's right. <laughs> right. You Joel's have mom. gone with Joel's mum. <laughs> nice one, Amps. Right, Joel, are you ready for this? I don't know whether I am, Stephen Mulhern. Well, let me tell you. The other day... We thought we'd send a camera round to Joel's mum's house without him knowing and ask her to watch a classic moment of reality TV. All the teams have to do is correctly guess what Joel's mum is watching purely from her reactions. Oh, God. Which I imagine is going to be pretty good. <laughs> because this clip we asked her to watch involves someone getting wanked off. <laughs> Sorry, John, mate. You're corrupting my mother. She's such a lovely lady. She lives in a village. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, my God, that is revolting. <laughs> she, she looks like she's far too good at that for my liking. <laughs> Go on, girl, you can do it. <laughs> oh, he's having such a lovely time. <laughs> that, that is pretty disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You want a job? Can I just say, I know we're supposed to be watching what like, she was trying to guess, but I've got to say, what a lovely kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> OK, for a point, what was Joel's mum watching? Was it A, Katie Price having a fumble in the jungle with Peter Andre? Was it B, Rebecca Luce pleasuring a pig in a pigsty? Oh, or C, a wine bottle corky off Kinga in the Big Brother garden? What are you going with? What do you think? What do you think? Well, I don't remember. If Katie Price had wanked off Peter Andre in the jungle, <laughs> there would be a part of my brain that would remember that. They didn't actually do anything. Shut up, this thing quick. <laughs> I, think the pig, yeah. I think probably the pig as well. Yeah. And I You're think it's a pig. lucky omen because Abs is there and he loves nature, so let's stick with pig. Do you mm. think it's B, Abs? Was Antiques Roadshow an option? <laughs> <laughs> what are you smoking in the woods? <laughs> Come over. <laughs> right, so you're saying B, well, let's find out if you're right. That was Rebecca Lou's in the farm. Extracting semen from a boar. Yes, it was B. Point to Emma's team. <laughs> yes, that was right. Joel's mum was yeah. watching Rebecca Lou's lovely pulling the pork on the reality show The Farm. For those who missed it first time round, here is one of the most infamous yes. and shocking reality TV scenes oh, ever, where Rebecca Lou's proved she could bravely handle anything and stood up to her critics by showing some true spunk in the face of adversity. <laughs> She will help John and pig farmer James Bodman extract semen from a nine-month-old boar called Sam. I've never seen a pig take a play job, so that's all I can say. That's all the gel? Yeah, so it's just solid gel. Which would then lock. <laughs> <laughs> that is a hell of a lot. It's like I'm a celebrity after hours doing some kind of bushfucker trial. <laughs> I've never seen that actually. It's so that was the first time. Quite revolting. What's uh, the stuff <laughs> that's in the, uh, the stuff that's in the bag at the end? They use it in porn films just to sort of scatter. Uh... <laughs> Apparently, a pig orgasms for 30 minutes. Good luck to the pig. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> 
OK, Joel, Emma and Ryland, please select a category off the wall. Uh, I think we should go with Beat the Beat Fly. Beat the Fly! There you go. Nicely done, Abs. This means it's your team versus the fly to win a point. Now, Abs here is going to rap about a famous reality star. All you have to do is guess who Abs is rapping about. Are you ready? Yep. Ready. Yeah. Abs. Here yes. we go. <clears throat> Kick it. Let me tell you a little story about a man who's pretty mean. Angry and gruff, but honoured by the Queen. Started out with nothing, he gave it some welly. Now he's telling people off all the time on the telly. Spent his youth in East London eating jelly deals. Now he rolls around the city in his Bentley wheels. He'll make you a star if you're up to the task. But when it comes to Tottenham, please don't ask. Who was Abs rapping about? Who are you going for? I don't know what he's called now, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, I know what he's called, but I don't know if you say Sir Alan or Lord Sugar. Oh. Oh. Either way, it's a point for Joel Sting, yes. Oh. Who was rapping about Lord Sugar? Right, I'll tell you what, I've just been told in my ear that you used to rap, Joel. Oh. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I went, for a, I went for a rap phase. Did you? Uh, Stephen, yeah, I did. Um, you used to have dreads, is this right? Why are you walking in front of the <laughs> Because I want to get the mic. I don't believe this. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on, son. Let's... Yeah, you need to throw it out there about abs and we'll give you a beat as well. Okay. Come on, are you uh, ready for this? Well. Let's drop some beats. There we go, come on. Seriously, can someone please check my working out? Check it. Um, I'm with a yo. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you very much for this week's final. Abs from the big reunion. <laughs> the next round is called a reality star and a reasonably priced bar. We sent a former reality star to do a lap of our reasonably priced bar. All the teams need to do is decide how many times, if at all, they got recognised by members of the public. And this week's reality star is former winner of Britain's Got Talent, Ashley, from Ashley and Pudsey. So, let's remind ourselves of Ashley and Pudsey's perfectly choreographed and effortlessly cool routine that ensured they became the first animal act to ever win the show. <laughs> You know what? I remember it like it was yesterday. A brilliant routine and a brilliant person. She's here tonight. Let's hear it for Ashley with our Pudsey from Bridge on Turner. <laughs> Hello, Ashley with our Pudsey. Hello. I know. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. How much does it annoy you that people only want to ever ask about the dog? Um, How is I... Pudsey, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> It, it's definitely Pudsy still as well, because I get so many people asking me if it is really him. What do you mean they ask you if it's really him? Pudsy didn't die, did he? No, he's still alive, right? Pudsy is still alive. Yes! 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 Pudsy's still alive, everybody. OK, team, we sent Ashley without Pudsy here to do a lap of our reasonably priced bar. But how many people do you think stopped to talk to Ashley without Pudsy? Was it A, just one person? Was it B... Six people, or C, none at all. Not one person recognised Ashley without Pudsey, because it turns out her pet is more recognisable than she is. <laughs> and it's, sorry for saying that, that's just on the no card. No <laughs> OK, so what are we thinking? I think it's probably going to be none, isn't it? Because it's like <laughs> Superman. The dog is like the glasses. Glasses on, oh, it's Clark Kent, fine. Oh, it's Ashley and Pudsey. Glasses off, Superman. Or in this case, Superwoman. <laughs> yeah. She's developed into a woman. <laughs> yeah. she? That's what happens, Ryland. Well, I don't know, do I? I don't know about that. <laughs> what are you saying, then? What he thinks saying? one. He thinks none. But I'm going to have to go with Jamie yeah. and say no, one. No. You're one. saying one. What are you saying, Joel's team? Yeah. Um, I'm just so excited to be next to Emma Bunton. Oh. So, um, <laughs> Abs, 
what you're saying. Uh, would you know? Did you recognise it without the dog? No. Right, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to have to see it. You're, you're saying six. six, right? Emma's gone for one and Joel's team has gone for six. Well, let's find out. Ashley without Pudsey, let's see your lap. And she's off. Tentative first corner there from Ashley. We'll have a little look around. Looks like she's lost, Putty. Ooh. Your dog is so cute. Well, oh, yeah, clever. Is that a girl? Yeah, it's a girl. She's a girl. She's so cute. Yeah, he's really fluffy. I've actually taught him to do some tricks as well, so... Yeah. 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 Does she do any tricks? Oh, my God, no. Oh. oh well, she's very cute. No, they didn't spot her. Emma's gone for one. Joel's gone for six. Now the barman. Hi. Yeah. There's one! A little bit of a selfie there, look. Yeah, she's drowning her sorrows, look. So it was one. Emma's team was correct. There you go, and thank you to this week's reality star in a reasonably priced bar, Ashley Without Pudsey! <laughs> right, we're now going to take a quick break, but do not go anywhere because we've got all of this still to come. Okay, our next round is called Where the Hell Am I? Emma and Joel, you will select one person from each of your team to be blindfolded and transported into the world of a reality TV show. All they have to do is feel their way amongst the clues and correctly guess where the hell they are. Emma, who's going to play for your team? <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, <laughs> right? Well, I'm liking it, OK. OK, and Joel, who are you going for? I've got a feeling the Ryland's probably got quite a lot of experience with blindfolds. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's go with Ryland. You're going to go with Thank Ryland. You so, you, sorry, you, so you could have sent me in a room with a Spice Girl, but you chose Ryland. What Ryland the, Holden. Why is it like this, Ryland? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> Jamie and Ryland, make your way out of the studio, please. <laughs> See you later. OK, they have now left the studio, so let's take a look and see which show Jamie and Ryland are about to be transported to. It's Gaz from Geordie Show! <laughs> Hello, Gaz, you want... Yeah, so. Now, if you haven't seen the show before, it's filming a group of Geordies drinking, shagging... <laughs> Well, that's it. Just drinking and jagging. Uh, now, Gaz here is known for his ability to charm the local Newcastle ladies. Here he is doing what he does best, getting down to business with a lovely young lady who reveals two things in this clip. First, she shows she has some unusual pillow talk, and the other thing, well, I'll leave it to Gaz to explain at the end. <laughs> This room is like heaven in a room. Even though I lost a girl in the process of coming downstairs, I've still got a girl. I'm in the shag pad, round two. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you stupid twat. <laughs> <laughs> Just when I thought the night couldn't get any better, I feel like I'm in wet and wild. Oh, my God, my legs are like, I can't, I can't even move. Hashtag squirter. <laughs> That was one of the most romantic things I've ever seen. Hashtag squirter. Hashtag squirter. <laughs> so Young the love. Pig and Rebecca lives. Yes. <laughs> Remind us of your nickname, Gaz. Parsnip. Parsnip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently, I actually knew that. Why did you nickname Parsnip? <coughs> because apparently, <coughs> he's got a big one. <laughs> but who and why have they called you Parsnip? Who started it? Um, it was Charlotte in Series 1, but she could have called it, like, a cucumber or a big sausage <laughs> or anything. And, honestly, that has stuck with me for so long. Does it start thin and then get bigger? I think Jamie and Ryland are now there, and we're ready to send them in. Good luck, Jamie and Ryland. You have until I sound my air horn to I fill your like way it. amongst the clues and guess where the hell you are. Right, off you go. Get groping. Oh, wow. Don't groping. Right, Jamie, where are you? Is that you? What? Oh, 
I thought I'd have Jamie and Ryland on the knees. <laughs> yeah. I think Sue and I'm going it, but... <laughs> Gaz, be honest with me. How many girls have you actually slept yeah, with? Well, uh, <laughs> Four figures, maybe? Four fingers? <laughs> Four fingers? Four figures! <laughs> Four figures! That's a whole different conversation. <laughs> Let's hear it, please, for Gaz from Geordie Shaw! Right, it is now time to play the real world. Now, if you think the reality TV in our country is crazy, wait till you see what they get up to in the rest of the world. Teams, I'm going to show you something from a reality show from a different country. And to win the point, all you have to do is correctly guess what the show is all about. And the country this week's reality show comes from is... This reality TV show is all about <laughs> naked and afraid. <laughs> naked and afraid. What do we think, Emma? What do you think? Uh, well, it looks like there's uh, green for its greenery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking, is it people naked with like spiders all over their body? So, like an extreme. Uh, I'm like a celeb. An extreme. I'm a celeb. Maybe it's like about abs in his house, just yeah. walking around in the woods. Butt naked, digging butt naked <laughs> what, is what I get up to. What do you think it is about, Abs? Uh, you know, I'd just like to firstly say that Ashley comes across all nice, but she just pulled off my wings. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. So, oh. so, so now I'm a walk. <laughs> I think it's like a naked uh, survival thing. Yeah. Like a Bear Grylls type. Surviving. Bear Grylls meets Adam be, and Eve. But they're yes. not going to be naked. They're not going to be completely naked. Did you? Oh. Well, it says afraid. naked. There's a clue in the title, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> so, Emma, and, and I think you're right. So, it's going to be in the jungle. It's going to be about people being in a jungle naked uh, and something like that. Okay. Do you know what? <laughs> I'm going to give a point to both teams. Oh. <laughs> Well, Naked and Afraid follows the lives of two strangers, a man and a woman who are given the task of surviving in the wilderness for 21 days completely naked. Each episode mm -hmm. sees them look for water, food and shelter, and they're allowed to bring one helpful item with them on their trip. Clothes. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. their dignity. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to see a clip? Yeah. yeah! It's called Naked and Afraid. Of course you do. Here are two strangers meeting naked in a jungle, one desperately trying not to look down, and the other desperately trying not to get caught looking down. <laughs> Hi. 
Hi. How are you? Uh, if I was any better, I'd be naked. Oh, wait. <laughs> All right, I love it already. Um, yeah. I'm Amanda. I'm Joshua. Joshua, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Let's see what we got here. All right, well. Like many survivalists before her, Amanda has elected to bring along a machete. Oh, nice. What'd you bring? Well, Josh has opted for a more unconventional tool. Duct tape. <laughs> awesome, awesome. My dad always says, if you can't duck it. <laughs> what do you think of that show, Emma? Oh my goodness, I, I, I just thought I was a bit upset they weren't that attractive. <laughs> <laughs> but also, the other question is, what's he going to do with the duct tape? I know. What's oh, she yeah. going to do with the machete? <laughs> <laughs> Bend him off with the duct tape. <laughs> so that is the whole bit. What would you take to the jungle if you had to take one thing? Go for it, Jamie. Sushi chef. <laughs> oh my. A sushi chef. 100% a sushi chef. But what's he going to cook? Sushi. <laughs> <laughs> Also, what's the point in calling it naked and afraid and blowing out the good bits? I tell you what, Kaz, if you had to go on that show, that to blow out the whole screen. <laughs> right, we are now taking a break, but do not move a muscle because we've got all of this coming up. <laughs> I don't know whether he's got a name for it, but if he has, it needs to be called Baby Spice. <laughs> We all still feeling good? Yeah. yeah! Good stuff. Right, it's time for our final round, and it's called... Deep Breath, Big Fact Hunt. Now, <laughs> I've been trawling the internet doing a Big Fact Hunt uh, for information about a very well-known reality TV star that I am about to bring on. All the teams have to do for the point is decide if the facts I tell you are true or false. This week, my Big Fact Hunt was from Most Haunted. It's Derek Akora! Good scene, thank you. Yeah, good. Who on the teams has ever seen a ghost? I actually, I think I did see one once. I'm pretty sure. Go on, tell us. Well, I, I, I just saw this this thing walk past into my room. Are you sure it wasn't your butler? <laughs> Sneaking in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you doing upstairs? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Derek, you must keep. <laughs> Ryan, has, uh, has anything ever put the willies up you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> teams, are you ready for your first fact? Yeah. Here we go. Whoa. True or true. false? Derek wears a specially designed helmet when he goes to bed so he doesn't get pestered by spirit when he's trying to sleep. What Judging by his hair, I'm going to say true. <laughs> right. oh. What do you think, Emma Bunton? True. 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 Gonna go with true. Emma yep. Bunton saying true. true. I'm gonna say true. Some spice because is it? you know, she bloody says it, I'll go. I got with it wrong. Gaz and the gang? True. They're all saying true. Does he wear a helmet to stop him getting pestered by ghosts at night when he's trying to sleep? Derek. False. Oh! Everyone's out on that one. Eyes down, true or false. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're looking for the jungle. Oh, do you know some of the jungles just at the back? If you uh, if you work your way through the audience, that's uh, brilliant. All the best. <laughs> All right. As you guys, just at the back. I couldn't help but look. Like I, was... I don't know whether he's got a name for it, but if he has, it needs to be called Baby Spice. <laughs> Here's another one. True or false, Derek was once sent a sexually explicit message from beyond the grave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I reckon he gets a lot of those. Yeah. yeah. Spirits yeah. coming, telling their other half, you know. If I went and come back, I'd, yeah. I'd be a bit dirty on the yeah. way back in. <laughs> <laughs> Put false up now! All right, it's false. It's You're false. saying false? Right, Derek, please reveal. 
True. Yeah. It was indeed true. There you go. In fact, this is probably one of my favourite reality Brilliant. TV clips ever, partly because of Derek's weird, contorted and twisted, possessed Brilliant. face, yes. but mainly because the ghost of Mary reveals she only has one thing on her mind. Yes, you right? Mm -hmm. Mary loves Dick. <laughs> Mary loves Dick. <laughs> Mary loves Dick. Really to a slight love for Dick. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite thing is that video. They're right outside the toilet. And there's a sign that says toilets above them. Like, if Mary loves Dick, that's where you're going to hang out, isn't it? <laughs> oh, and that sound means we are at the end of the round. Let's hear it, please, for Derek Akora being my big fat cunt. <laughs> so it's time to reveal the result. Teams. Please come and join me around the front. Come on. Come on. I can reveal that the team with the highest score and therefore the winner of tonight's show is... <laughs> Thank you, Naked and Afraid people. <laughs> the winner is... <laughs> Team this week is Joel's team! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations to Emma, Matt, and Jamie. Yeah. And congratulations to Joel, Emma, and Rod. Thank you to Derek and Cora, Ab from the big reunion, Gaz from Geordie Shaw, and Ashley without Pussy. And thank you to you for watching. We'll see you next week for more reality bites. Good night.